Hey everybody. So today we are gonna be, I got another inexpensive cordless drill from Amazon. We're gonna be taking a look at that. I also got some new drill bits and I'm super excited. So I'm just, I just wanna show you cause these are freaking amazing. Um, we're gonna be testing this out. It's got some really cool features. Well, it's got a cool little doohickey I wanna show you guys um, real quick. Um, I'm trying out the, I'm still in the middle of trying out the Kiara Sky jelly tips. So we're at about five days so far. So I'll be finishing up that video. Um, I also have a brush coming from America Nails, their faux Kalinske brush, um, because it is vegan. Uh, it is a nylon acrylic brush. It's supposed to be faux Kalinske. I did a video on one of their other brushes. Um, it wasn't so great but I got a recommendation from another nail artist on Instagram who um, uses vegan products. Uh, she's a great page for information, so I'm gonna link that on the video and probably in the description box here as well. Um, Dragon Nails, if anyone is interested in vegan products, you can go to her Instagram page. She's got a ton of stuff on there. Um, she recommended the American Nails brush. It's a different, like an upgraded brush there. So we're gonna be trying that out as well. Um, and then our Hema Free product will be IBD, their hard gel, which I absolutely love, but I'm gonna show you guys how that works. So I'm gonna open this up so we can get started. Okay, so this brand is Aureox. It's A-U-R-I-O-X. I'll be linking it down below. Um, the drill bits are from Yafex. I'll be linking those down below too. Um, so this is everything that came with it. Inside, there's a set of your typical metal finishing bits. Um, uh, I hate these boxes. Um, just, you know, your barrel bit, your needle bit, your flame bit, some sanding bands, and the mandrel bit. Nothing crazy there. Um, they did include a ceramic fine grit flame bit, which I love ceramic bits. They're just awesome. Um, we got a bag of different grit sanding bands. They go from fine to extra coarse, which that's pretty handy. Get you guys a little closer. We have a charger. Oh, it's not two inches long. That's awesome. And this thing, which I am super excited about. Um, and instructions, obviously. So Now, this one is a 20,000 RPM. Uh, it is cordless kind of like the one, uh, the Yafex one that I did before. Um, this one's, well, you'll see. It's, I, I, I really like this one. Um, again, it doesn't have a bit lock, but uh, the, it, we'll see how secure it is. Um, 20,000 RPM, let's see, three speeds, forward, reverse, yada, yada. Um, so in addition to all the stuff that came with it, this thing. This little doohickey is why I bought it, which it's normally about 30 bucks, but I got it for like 40, it was 40% off. So I ended up only paying like $22 for this drill, which not bad for a cordless at all. So let's get this bad boy out. These are carbide bits, by the way, which I wanna show you these separately. So um, and show you what they do. So. Okay, so that's pretty secure. I kinda, you kinda gotta push pretty good to get it down in there. I like the colors, I like the black. Um, so you hold the button down to turn it on, right? And then it has the three speeds, which is pretty typical. And then you tap the power button to reverse it. And it doesn't like jolt or anything, it just slows down and then starts back up, which I like. Um, there's not a ton of vibration, like at all. You really can't feel it. <laughs> and on low speed, you can't hear it at all. Not at all. Medium, which you're really not gonna go much higher than medium. So anyway, we're gonna try it out by drilling through this stuff, but I wanna show you this little thing real quick. So this little guy, goes on here, fits on there, and it's a dust guard. When I tell you I was so excited, um, basically when you're removing 
acrylic or gel polish it keeps the dust from flying up all over your hands if you're anything like me um, when you are doing acrylic removal that dust if it sits on your hands um, I start to itch really bad even if I wash it off immediately I itch for like the rest of the day actually let's do this okay we're gonna try a removal bit just so okay that's not bad it does fit pretty securely and since the gel polish is colored, I can show you guys how well it does with the dust guard. And we are gonna try drilling through because that's what we do. So it'll light up blue when it's going forward and green in reverse, or vice versa if you're left-handed. Nah. I'm sorry, I'm barely touching it because I'm watching the dust. Let's go a little faster. Okay, so check it out. <laughs> Isn't that neat? I love it. But yeah, you guys can see all of the red gel polish on there. Neat, huh? And I don't have a ton of it. Actually, I don't have any on this hand. <laughs> I'm a lover of gadgets. So it's removing pretty well. I put it in reverse again. So you want to put the, the dust guard <laughs> like in line with your thumb so that you're not getting stuck on things like I just was. And all the dust fell that way instead of up in my face. Yep. All right, so now we are going to drill through. <laughs> I like that. Get a needle bit. I'm gonna use this one. I love that it just fell down. Usually it all collects on my hands. And it always starts in first gear. Ready? Ready. Okay, well, that was that. So it isn't slowing down when it's going through the plastic. Like, even though I'm putting pressure on it, it's not slowing the motor down, which is a big problem with some of these cordless drills because, I don't know. What should we drill? Here, let's talk to, So Oreox. Now I want to show you guys the drill bits I got because they are making me happy this week. And it was a rough week, so you know you find the little you find little bits of happiness wherever you can. Alright, so it came with all of this and they are gold carbide and they look amazing. Now, initially when I touch them, they feel super smooth, which seems odd to me because like this is an extra coarse bit, a barrel bit, which don't they look amazing? But they feel really soft and smooth. There's not like, I'm not catching on anything, which seems odd to me, like, like with this, which obviously, you know, drill bits have teeth, but it just felt really smooth. So I thought maybe that would be ineffective. So we are gonna, check these bad boys out what each one is and what it does so we got the little cleaning brush here and this is a stone bit which is like a buffer for natural nails you know kind of like less than a sanding band um and obviously the cleaning brush which i go i use a lot of those okay so first we have this lovely here this is the snakehead bit now these are great for cuticles or cleaning underneath because the the cuts on the drill bit go up and down 
instead of around or cross cut, which can kind of tear up. So it helps you to get under without going through. So it's just a lot, a lot better for cuticle work because it gets under and goes side to side instead of, you know, grabbing all over. I just, I like them a lot. They're, they're just amazing. Um, then we have our lovely needle bit here, which is a little, um, just a touch bigger than a lot of needle bits, which, you know, but also won't stab through your hand if you use it wrong. Um, you guys know how needle bits work. You know, you use them for cleaning underneath. You can use them for cuticle work. You can use them for piercings. Uh, then we have our a flame bit, and this one's about a medium grit. Um, these are great for sealing back here and giving yourself that arch. Um, they're great for removal too, because they don't like dig so you get a more precise like cleanup i guess is what i want to say also we have this the extra coarse barrel bit this is not a safety bit but um excellent for removal and for taking down bulk um just because it gives you that nice even surface but it is all of these drill bits are cross cut so they can be used left or right handed um yes and then this bad boy bit or what I whatever it's called I don't know I love these things um they're great excellent for sealing because they give you that same you know the the arch but also that pinpoint tip so you can get right in there without um taking off too much acrylic at the back my <laughs> don't ask me why they're just pretty and I love them and um drill bits have become my like guilty pleasure my um how I splurge on myself um, because they make me happy. I don't know why. It's just, it was like when I used to buy tools all the time. I would buy um, screwdrivers or little tiny pairs of pliers and just add them to my collection. It just made me happy. So let me show you guys this one. What? So even though the drill bits themselves are super smooth and you don't really feel any coarseness, they do their job. Like I said, this one is extra core, so good for like removal. Acrylic removal and hard gel, not gel polish. Yeah, let's take a little peek. So not, uh, even though they're pretty smooth, I'm still getting like the extra coarse um, performance out of them. Like I don't know if you guys can see, I'm just shaving like lines out of it. Super cool. I love it. It's silly, but I just, I like how they feel. Alright, so let's check out the, hmm, let's check out the snake head. Yeah. And if you want to get yourself a nice set of drill bits, this kind of, ooh, that is way too high. If you want to get yourself a nice set of drill bits that are going to last you a little while, these are really good and they kind of cover everything. Um, you know, prep, acrylic, removal, like the whole nine. It just, cuticle work, sealing, you have, it's a good base set to start with, you know what I mean? So, snake head. It gets right up in there without hurting anything, and I love it. And it kind of lifts it away. So that way, if you're, like, a person who trims your cuticles, it's not pushing it back the way the ball bit does. It's lifting it up from your nail. The way a needle bit would, but without being so pointy and, uh, see? Without being so pointy and scary. So you can see how it got up underneath there. Excellent. I'm just big fan. Um, let's see, what else? <laughs> These are just the best for underneath. Like, um, 
underneath here after you're done or when you're doing a balance. Ooh. Because, because they're so smooth, they don't hurt, they don't grab the skin. You just push that way and it gets everything out from under so you're not like, I don't know about you guys, but when I get the like right here after I'm done and sometimes the file can't get it, I use one of these to get it out. It's excellent. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, absolutely love my bits. I gotta say the drill for, for a $20 drill, it performed excellent. Like, just amazing for, for the cost. Like, I have no complaints. Other than myself for mixing up the buttons, but... And I like how it looks. It kind of resembles the Melody Susie one, except that one's not cordless, it's USB. So I definitely dig it. I will include the links to both of these down below in case anybody is interested. If you're looking for a cheap backup, this is highly recommend. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys later on this week and we will go over how these bad boys did this week. Um, we will also be doing the American Nails brush. Um, what else? What else? Oh, and the IBD hard gel for our Huma Free series. But as always, thanks for watching.